Hello, everyone. This is our Hawaiian Volcano Update for Thursday, August 29th, 2024. Following the second intrusion in two months between Pauahi and Mauna Ulu craters, uh, the volcano has been recharging fairly slowly within this upper east rift area of the volcano, as well as a summit area through here. In the meantime, there has still been inflation in this area of the Middle East Rift Zone by Maka Pui Crater, which is also affecting Puo'o area. And that seems to be ongoing, but has slowed. So just to recall, here is the location of the intrusion that we saw on a satellite radar last week, right through there. And that's what followed the previous month where we saw first an intrusion back in mid-July and then inflation migrating to the east affecting first area by Napao and then eventually moving over to the pool area as well. And so that's what we had last month followed by the intrusion again just last week. And so the question is, are we gonna have the same propagation of signals? And it, it does not seem that we're seeing quite the same speed of propagation at least so far. But in order to e exemplify what's happening here, we can first look at the south flank of the volcano so here's the summit, here is the upper east rift, this is the middle east rift all through here marked by the line of craters. And this area just to the south, this is the south flank. And so this area of the volcano moves towards the sea, and that can open pathways and reduce redistribute the pressure where the magma is going underground through here. So if we look, for example, at this station MP3R over here, we can see that its north-south component is moving rapidly to the south still. And these data points are about one per day. And so you can see that it's been moving over the last week, sometimes a little slower, but seemingly still going over the last week here. So this is showing that the south flank of the volcano is still moving to accommodate magma migration within this Middle East Rift here. However, if you go up to the uh, Pu'o'o sites, and I think I need to zoom in to show you this station. But if we go to there, we can see that that northward motion that was rising fairly quickly in the last few weeks seems to have stabilized with the data points clustering within the last week here. So that's the slowdown that we see in the Middle East Rift. Meanwhile, if we come further, let's come to the uh, tilt meters now. Turn the right ones on here. At Pu'o'o, we can see that the tilt meter is also stabilized over the last week with some little influence of the rainfall accumulation from Hurricane Hone that came through the island over last weekend. So stable in the Middle East Rift. If we go further up to the actual bend at the escape road tilt meter, it also is stabilized in the Middle East Rift near the intrusion site from last week, also showing a small effect of the rain from the hurricane coming through. So we keep moving further to the west, and we come to the Sand Hill Station by the summit, which is measuring both the Halemaumau area and the main caldera, and the south caldera area as well. And it also is fairly stable, also showing some effects of the rainfall, with an extra adjustment happening in the last couple of days here in the south caldera area, which may relate to some of these earthquakes we actually see nearby in the area still flaring up under this Middle East Rift Zone. Those earthquakes came back on a couple of days after the onset of the rainfall. And there is a potential link there that it could have been an extra pulse of magma coming through the volcano. But also with the volcano in such a delicate state, continually adjusting from this moving pressure, there could have been some effect of the poor pressure of the water on some of those moving faults and the blocks of rock that might have caused a little bit extra cracking and, and migration as well. In either case, it only lasted a couple of days before quieting down here in the last two days as we speak. So earthquake counts have been down, but they are distributed in this pattern clustered around the Upper East Rift more densely and more spread out as the slowdown occurs in the Middle East Rift. The south flank still moving is also showing a set of earthquakes shown here. These are colored by depth, so these oranges and yellows are fairly shallow and intermediate. Whereas we still have Pahala earthquakes feeding the hotspot from below, plotted in blue here as well. 
So that's Kilauea's update. Mauna Loa is very quiet. Here are the earthquake rates for the past year. Very low earthquake rates per year, per week. The deformation across Caldera has been long-term fairly steady. We are having some data transmission issues and updates on the website, so we haven't seen any immediate effect on the GPS. Although we do see a small little bump in the tilt, that does not affect the overall long-term pattern of slow recharge and inflation of Mauna Loa Volcano. So plotted on a map, here are those few earthquakes adjusting near the summit of Mauna Loa for the last week. And nothing unexpected is happening there. And that's our summary for this week.